High schools are reopening on Monday. That means students who are enrolled in in-person learning will be able to return to school. But with the big news from the CDC today saying that students can now be three feet apart instead of six, the mayor and schools chancellor announced more students will be able to head back to the classroom. The CDC has evaluated the evidence and has decided that the distance between uh, children in our public school classrooms can go from six feet to three feet. As high school students get ready to head back to class on Monday, Mayor Bill de Blasio and schools chancellor Misha Ross Porter announced late this afternoon more students will be able to head back to school. It is time for an opt-in period and that will begin next week. The details will be announced on Monday. The new relaxed CDC social distancing guidelines released Friday means students can sit as close as three feet apart to each other in classrooms instead of six feet. Masks will still be a must. We will continue to follow the science and keep a close eye on community transmission. According to the mayor, there will be a new opt-in period as early as next week for 3K, pre-K, and special needs students. Middle and high schoolers will get their chance to opt-in shortly after. Continue to combine with other measures, masks, proper hygiene, improved ventilation, comprehensive testing, and quick intervention by the Situation Room. 16-year-old Yonam Pierre, a high school sophomore in Queens, is ready to go back. Actually, I'm really excited for it. But just being in the classroom and having that ability to just say, uh, hey, teacher, like, can I get support in this or that? But this high school junior in Brooklyn says COVID in the classroom is still a big concern. My family and I have agreed that we are not going, I'm not going to go back until I'm vaccinated. Monday will mark the return of in-person learning for every grade level in New York City. And city officials say the new CDC guidance will be a big step in getting kids back to some sort of normalcy in the classroom and with their education. Every single child can get back in the classroom. That's going to help them move forward and get past the pain of this pandemic. And the teachers union did respond to those CDC guidelines saying teachers and principals will work with city and state leaders to make sure students and teachers are safe in classrooms. In Midtown, Jennifer Bisram, PIX11 News.